guys, so you have to excuse me. I spent the last 11 and a half weeks perfecting the images of this slide. There's no content, but uh, there's, there's a lot of pictures. Uh, so with our business at Little Big, we're not as easy of a company to understand sometimes because we do a lot of different things. And you're probably in that same boat. Uh, Linda with On The Spot Floors has a, a business that I can understand. My two-year-old throws fruit punch on my floor. I need Linda's help. I don't have a fruit punch solution. So how we go about marketing and generating leads for our business is through primarily social networks like LinkedIn. And the way we do that is by focusing on establishing the members of our company as subject matter experts and thought leaders or knowledge leaders. It takes a little while, but there's a lot of benefits. And so what I wanted to do today was share just a couple quick ideas and some very tactical points that I think can help you all uh, you know, build your own throne, but this will help you settle it. The, um, there's, I think there's two different ways that you can sell. Uh, you can win and you can earn. Now, I've been in sales for a long time. I've been in marketing for a long time. I've been a marketer for a long time. <laughs> and I think we've all been in the win role from time to time. There's a request for proposal or request for bid. Um, you hear that a company has just moved into town and, and is looking for services like yours. It's time to go win that business. Uh, if we can find our way to get in front of them, a couple of these bullets on this slide probably feel very comfortable. It's, we're trying to get in front of them whenever we can. We're stalking them sometimes. Price usually comes up when we're trying to win business because we know that the three or four of our local competitors are typically right around. They're aware as well. Uh, and they're in on the game. So winning business often feels like a race, and I don't know about you, but for me it tires me out that way too. A couple of years ago, uh, we changed our mentality for how we market ourselves, because we thought it was better to earn business. Uh, think about the people that you trust, the people that you go to for advice. Uh, if they tell you to do something, or if they suggest something, you're infinitely more likely to go about doing it or taking advantage of that advice uh, than an ad from some big company that shows up in, a, in, a, uh, in your Google search results or in paid ads or a mailer that shows up at your door. When you position yourself as a knowledge leader, you start earning business from people because they're looking to you for advice. And what's great is you never have to start running that race because the other contestants rarely make it to the starting line. When you're publishing content that's helpful to people, they will start pursuing you. So when you're earning business by being a knowledge leader, it feels very different. And it's, I really prefer that experience because the customers and clients that you depend on for your business and your growth are relying on you for support. When trust is the start of that relationship, it gets a lot easier. Um, some of the initial worries about price points and if your service is better than these other five guys and well, we've got to go bid this work out, those objections don't tend to come up when people seek you out first. In order to do that, though, you've got to get a really good handle on who you're trying to address. Uh, I've been to a lot of networking groups. I've been to a lot of events. I've connected with a lot of people online. And the introduction I get from most of them sounds almost the same. I am Bill. I work with this business-to-business -business solution. Uh, we're looking for companies that need our help. We work with businesses of all shapes and sizes, and we're really good about what we do. Bill, that's literally everybody I've ever met. Uh, if, I go, if I go to Howard and I say, Howard, I'm, I work with marketing companies that focus on small to medium organizations in their local market, and we help support you as you grow so that you don't have to go out and find people and hire and fire and go through a lot of the, t the tumultuousness of growth. We just make you look like you get bigger. We make it look easy. That introduction is going to be more interesting to him than if I said I was a B2B support company. So if I'm going after more Howards, I've got to really know who Howard is. I've got to know what interests him. Because in order for him to come and seek my advice on LinkedIn or any social media, I've got to be publishing content and ideas that are really relevant to him. It's okay to narrow your focus down to a laser point if the types of customers you're seeking with that laser focus are going to generate the majority of your business. I like to go after the handful of people that are going to make my monthly goal and get really good at meeting those people, knowing who they are and how I can help them, than just throwing ads all over the place, getting on TV, radio, and in the paper, and just hoping that by virtue of the scattergun approach, I attract attention. The first thing you can do on LinkedIn as a tactical is be identifiable. Um, a member of my company is adamantly against this, and I love to argue with him about it. 
he likes to stay anonymous. Uh, now, he's a hacking forensics investigator, so I guess it probably just comes with the territory. <laughs> that's kind of their role. That's what they do. Um, you're on social networks to meet people. Now, you don't want to go out and just add connections willy-nilly. You want to meet people. You want to be friends. You want to establish a personal relationship before you connect with them digitally. But make sure that you're identifiable. This is something you can do in your profile security settings. Make sure that you show your name and headline. Um, you should be browsing people that would be good personal relationships, good professional relationships, good partnerships, and good clients. And you should be happy that they know that you're looking at them. So that's a quick tactical that you can do. Um, this is my who's viewed my profile this week. So, <clears throat> Mike is somebody that I can connect with. He is a VP of retail operations. Maybe that's the type of a company I want to connect with. I'm going to be able to research his business a little bit more. And if he's looking to sell me something, I already know he's looking at me. So when he calls or when he emails me or when he shows up at my door, I've already got a little bit of information about him. These other Yahoo's, Home Depot, Bed Bath & Beyond, apparently I'm a retail holic. And there's these completely anonymous people. That does nothing for me whatsoever. So if you're trying to expand your network to bring business into your company, make sure that you are identifiable. Establish your presence by taking time to curate good content. Not all of us are great authors. We can't write uh, the winning prize that will captivate everyone and will grow like wildfire and go viral. But what we can do is understand what's important to the target audience that you're after and curate that content. Link to other people's blogs. Link to news articles. Uh, if you've got your own blog, and I highly recommend it, take a couple of minutes to write a foreword to an article. Here's something that I found that I thought was really interesting. I'd like to share it with my network. That at least brings people back to your website and your blog before they go out and read that other content. LinkedIn tells you what to write about and tell you what to look for. Has anybody ever seen this page? No. Okay. LinkedIn's super secret sauce recipe number 312 is the trending content tool. You can just do a Google search for it. It's difficult to find in LinkedIn for some reason. <laughs> you target health and pharma, guess what? This will curate for you of the entirety of LinkedIn, of the 50 trillion people on there every day. What are they actually reading? What are they sharing? What are they searching for? You want to be relevant to your target audience? There's your relevance and there's your target audience. There's a ton of different industries. I think if there's one thing you can take from my presentation, find this tool, research your customers, and get a better idea of what they're really looking for. I can take a little bit of time and curate some articles here and look super relevant to somebody in the pharma industry without really knowing all that much about it. It at least gets my foot in the door without having to go kick it down. So when I told you to be identifiable, keep track of who's looking at you. Uh, there's plenty of folks that are nervous to make that initial introduction. Maybe they're looking for somebody in your services and they're reaching out to you. They like the type of content that you're sharing. And they want to say hello, but they just don't know how. They're nervous to ask for that first dance. Keep an eye on who's viewed your profile, and if it looks like somebody you want to meet or want to know more about, go after them. Put your hand out and invite them. Join groups on LinkedIn. Does anybody use LinkedIn groups? It's a great way to further your business. I highly recommend it. Uh, you can meet people from all over the world that are also in your business, so you feel like you're part of a group. Uh, you can help your customers. LinkedIn has a program called LinkedIn Answers, where you can go and establish your expertise by helping people with quick questions. Uh, these are great ways to build your credibility. If you go look at my groups list, I have 3,382 groups. Yeah. I just totally made that up. <laughs> like 75, but it's a bunch of groups. Um, email. And looking at those groups gives you a better idea of what I do on day-to-day. -day. I spend a lot of time in digital marketing, future trend, a lot of Apple. You can get a better idea of who I am and what interests me, so if you want to sell me something, you can know what interests me and, and approach me that way. Like, you could talk to me all day long about iOS 8 and OS X Yosemite. We can talk about that in great <coughs> today. I'm so excited about it. But you'll know that from looking at my groups, because I talk about them all the time. Join groups, be a good member. Being a good member is not stalking. Being a good <coughs> member is reading information, is, is saying, hey, that's a great article. I like your support. I think this is a really neat concept. Leverage mentions. Sometimes a connection isn't the first way to go in. So if I'm looking to target a business in Middle Othian and I don't know anyone there and I don't have a good connection, I'm going to still keep track of what they're doing. If they hired a new VP of operations or if they just landed a really big account, I'm going to use mentions to say congratulations. I'm going to follow them around on social media and just kind of clap behind them for a while until they can turn around and start having an introduction to me. I use mentions quite often. Uh, we had some fun yesterday with some mentions just kind of going around the group, and it, it's a good way to not only 
take advantage of the fact that these, you can reach out to these people in social media networks, but when you mention someone and they respond, all of their connections see that response. So a great way to grow your network or get in front of a lot more people, uh, Dave has a lot more connections than I do, I go say hi and I send him some funny pictures on LinkedIn, I link him to an article, he writes back, seriously dude, stop it. All of this network sees that, so that's really good. <laughs> If you're going to post on your company page, target your updates. This is something I don't think really anybody uses. When you post content, you can target who it goes out to. So there's the scattergun, disperse lots of information all the time, but you can actually use advanced uh, publication to say, I want this post to go out to people in my network who are of this type of a business or in this type of a role. A study from HubSpot showed that when you target posts in company LinkedIn updates, there's a 66% in, uh, increase in engagement and lead generation. Above all else, bring them home. You're taking time to write the content, to curate the content, to syndicate information, join groups, be good members, lots of other good things. You gotta find a way to connect and bring them home. So do something like this. If you were on my LinkedIn yesterday, you saw that I posted an article that I wrote, a little book, 10 weeds to pull from your marketing. 10 things you should cut in 2014. I posted that on LinkedIn with a little bit of an introduction, a nice picture, because we all like pictures. And then I'll link back to my personal, to our blog on Little Big. And when I did that, it links to a simple landing page so the people that want that ebook fill out a little bit of information. So I can keep track of those people and send them more content like it whenever I produce it. And they get access to my ebook. So I've taken a social network of people on LinkedIn who may or may not have a business relationship with me yet. If they like my content and want to join the discussion, they click the link, they go to my landing page, they're in my CRM. Now I can start syndicating more information learning more about them and hoping, hopefully making some money with them. Above all else, keep talking. Keep up the conversation as you make connections. Uh, I try and stay on about 20 minutes a day. Uh, some people do a couple hours a week in a really focused time. If you want this information, I know I ran through some of it quick. Uh, I'll go to pages for today, littlebigpros.com slash LinkedIn. That'll give you the copy of my slides. I've got a LinkedIn checklist for company pages. It's really long but really helpful. Uh, and then I've got a social prospecting workbook that I'm going to send you all. Sorry. Can you go back to this? Yeah. Uh, I'll send you a social prospecting workbook that you can use for your company. You print it out. It's a couple pages. And it'll give you a good idea of how to target leads like what I've been talking about here. So I think if you take...